Hey LinkedIn and YouTube fam, my name is Cedric and today I just wanted to do a video in response to one of our viewers on YouTube named Noah Green. Noah Green, thank you. Um, instead of actually doing a video showing you how to set up all of Pipedrive or all of Outreach or PySync or, um, you know, kind of going like real in depth, I'm kind of just going to segment these videos out and then, you know, um, maybe at the end of the week or after, um, I've made enough of them, I'll kind of like do like a crash course video where it'll be a little bit longer, it'll be in depth, and I'll explain more of the nuances of why things are set up the way that we did and um, why we would recommend going certain ways than others and all of that. So today this video in particular will be about how do you create stages or pipelines and pipe drive. So a stage is one of these, right? It's basically um, a point in your sales cycle, is what I'd like to say, in your pipeline, right? Um, so the way that we set them up is probably going to be a little bit different than how you might set them up and how you might name them, right? But real quick, before I even get into any of that, um, let's show you how to actually make a new pipeline, right? So you're going to go over here. Up to the top you're gonna to see a deal tab you're gonna click into that that will bring you into a view like this now you're gonna to want to make sure you could potentially go into any of these other views just make sure you're in the pipeline view all right now go over here to this drop down and you'll see all of the different books or pipelines that you made all right targeting specific leads whatever the case may be for you, all right? And then you click here, and then this is how you make a new pipeline, right? And then you'll name each stage accordingly. Um, I never really got into like the whole probability stuff, to be honest. Um, and that's basically how you set up a new pipeline, right? And then I'll go back and I'll show you why we kind of set ours up the way that we did, why we named them the way that we did. So approaching, these are all the deals that are not actively being targeted. Active, active prospect means that they're being targeted. Um, they're being emailed, they're being called, they're being connected with on LinkedIn. Whatever that strategy may be, they're actively being targeted. Um, maybe um, for this stage right here, demo strategy materials, maybe you have um, an inbound lead come in Maybe you've got somebody on the phone um, during your attempts of doing outbound and you know you explained the value properly well and they want to get on a call with you and then you did a demo, right? Or maybe you sent them strategy materials because they're on the same page as you. Whatever that may be, right? It would fall into that bucket right here. And then for the people that are further along in our sales cycle, of course, and you know we're sending them proposals or agreements and you know they're basically ready to go but they're not technically sold and they're not technically paid, right? They're over here, right? And then DFN is basically our stage for deals that we're not actively going after, that we've already tried, right? Because if we are not actively targeting them, then we, you know, we tried their DFN, but if we haven't tried, then they're still approached. They haven't even been touched yet. Um, so yeah, all of our dead deals go here. Um, they're not dead forever, they're just dead for now, and eventually we um, get back into targeting them again, or whatever the case may be, um, case by case. Um, but with that, that kind of just wraps up how you create a new pipeline and stages and pipe drive. Um, I hope this video made you smile, I hope it brought you value, um, wishing you continued success and perfect health. Thank you, have a nice day.